Well, I'm not really sure why I started here, but I started taking off the um, leather over the, the end of the spreaders. Um, got that off and, and found this underneath. Um, it looks to be some sort of sacrificial anode um, on the end of the spreader. And those are uh, sort of bolted on. So I marked where the... Uh, where the wire went through the spreader and then I took off those anodes on, on both sides um, probably end up trying to replace the anode even though it wasn't too badly uh, damaged the wire had a little bit of um, caulk on it but otherwise was was in pretty good shape um, you could see right here uh, well you can see in a second here uh, exactly what I'm talking about with the the, the caulk on the wire uh, I ended up taking a wire brush to it, cleaning it up, and um, it looks pretty good. Uh, I don't think there's anything wrong with it at all. Um, again, I, I didn't really know what I was doing exactly. I, you know, I have a better sense now, uh, a day later. Um, but I moved on to taking off the spreader lights um, next. We have a problem with one of them. This is actually the one that's working well. The other one was broken and had water in it. So I removed that, and we'll be ordering a new one. I next moved on to the spreaders themselves and um, took off uh, the starboard side one and may end up taking off the other one too. There was, you know, after I finally got it off, as you'll see, there is very little corrosion uh, on the spreader itself um, or, you know, where, where it went together. Um, it seems to be in pretty good shape. We'll ha obviously have to clean the bottom of the spreader, as you can see there. Um, but other than that, it seems to be in pretty good shape. You know, there's a little bit of of crap, but uh, that will that has already cleaned right up, I should say. Um, and here's where the spreader attaches to the mast. Um, again, I'm not finding much corrosion at all on the mast itself or under any of the fittings, so I doubt I'm going to end up taking this thing off. Um, although, uh, you know, who knows? I, I may still end up doing it. Um, nice robust uh, piece of uh, kit there. I then went up to the masthead light and uh, kind of unattached that and took a look at it because I want to we, we want to order some LED lights to replace the ones that we have now. Um, top one there is the uh, nav lights and, and the bottom one the anchor light. Um, they both are I think they're both, uh, I think they're, one, one's a 20 and the other one's a 25 watt, uh, appears to be a halogen bulb. Um, not quite sure, as you see here, what that little round glass bulb of sorts is that's around the uh, anchor light. Uh, love to hear it if anybody knows what they are. I also removed all the uh, um, turnbuckles and I'm going to spend the morning uh, looking over those and, and doing a good inspection of them. Here are the, I shouldn't say all the turnbuckles, I, I removed all the turnbuckles we hope to uh, be able to replace, or, or, we, we, or we hope we won't have to replace, I should say. These are the ones that we will be replacing. You can see the one on the left is a little bent uh, at the swage. Uh, the one on the right seems to be in fairly good shape, but it's original, so we're going to be getting rid of that. Um, here's a, a cleat on the mass that needs to be replaced. I ended up measuring that so I can get an order in. But that was about it for the day. Take it easy, guys.